Paying attention to all this and your oxygen is not as easy as you may think, I swear to you. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome once again to the month of Discovery. Today on the menu is Save the Astronaut, an indie game that was actually given to me. Yes, it would seem that someone behind the game gave me a code on Steam and said, here it is, feel free to try it, so I figured I'd do it now. Help screen. WASD move, jump, interact, E, P, pause, C, help screen. Seems pretty simple enough to me. Alright, let's do it. Let's see what it's all about. This is the month of discovery, it's all about trying new things. He actually gave it to me back in September, but I never really had an opportunity to try it until now. Ship has crashed into northern pole of an uncharted planet. Critical damage. Power systems failure. Crew dead. Before impact. I ejected our disaster beacon. I must power it up to re receive rescue. Now all of a sudden it sounds like someone's talking. Entering stage one. Was he bobbing his head? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, right off the bat, I can see some interesting 8-bit graphics, which is game over. Suffocation, no breathing. What? Oh, okay, I have a limit. I have a limited oxygen supply. So that's going to be made apparent right from the get from the get-go. You can't dilly daddle. My bad. Okay, and the doors don't open. You got to press a button. Okay. Clearly this is more complicated than I thought. This used to interact, okay. Fair enough. Good thing the oxygen tank was still there. Okay, there we go. Good thing that replen the oxygen seems to replenish itself, so that's good. It's not entirely dire. Not as dire as I would have thought. Okay, come on. There we go. Let's just get as many of, as we can, just in the immediate vicinity. I don't need to get all of them. So that's a... Uh, that's an introduction to this mechanic, I would assume. We have liftoff, okay. Fair enough. Daggummit. Yeah, I'm out of oxygen. Game over. Okay, good thing there isn't lives like I dreaded there might have been. Also, you can move with the arrow key, so that's good. Ah, drats. There we go. <laughs> Just in the nick of time, huh? How fortunate for me. Not for long. Yeah. This is a little tough, I must admit. Come on. There we go. I can't seem to jump over that. This is, uh... This is where I'm gonna be boned, isn't it? I can't do it. I can't make the jump. Yeah, you get down there, you're dead. You're dead, son. You're dead. You're freaking dead. Unless you... I guess open... I guess press the button beforehand. Oh, that's nice. Darn it. Didn't get the oxygen tank again. This is gonna be complicated, isn't it? Obviously the first one was just an introduction to the whole concept, and now all of a sudden they're pulling off the training brakes hard, and... Game over. That's, that's great. I get it. I get it. I'm running out of oxygen. I get it. You don't have to keep reminding me each and every time, man. Crap. I keep falling down this, and then it's impossible to get back up. I've fallen, and I can't get up. Life alert, help me. I'm eventually going to do it. Probably. Okay, come on. Jeez, there we go. Come on. Run out of oxygen just waiting for this. Okay, there we go. Frick. Right. Oh, God, crap. Damn it. I hoped I would at least get to that oxygen tank over there. Lily, that's not working out for me. Okay, that somehow worked out, and that didn't. Shit. There should be a button to just instantly kill yourself, because... 
once you get down here, you're basically screwed. You can double. Okay, good to know. And I got to the oxygen just as I was running out. That's. I didn't even know I could double jump. Well, that makes it a little easier. Thank you. Jeez. Making it so hard on myself. Maybe I should have tried that before doing anything else, huh? Now that I've learned the awesome ability of double jumping... Bejewel. Oh, that's great. Come on. Come on. Now that I've learned the awesome ability of double jumping, it's so much simpler than I was making it out to be. But of course, I tend to do that a lot. Uh oh Oh crap, I better get down there fast. Thank goodness. Come on. Very up oxygen. Thank you. Luckily, it restores itself before 10 seconds are up, so you can actually get more oxygen. You can pretty much just fall. For being stupid, like me. What I was gonna say was, you could basically just park yourself near an oxygen tank and basically get... Oh, okay, it just drops you. That's great. That's just lovely. That's, that's fine. I'll just use it as a stepping stool. Oh, that was a close one. You're not getting the better of me this time. Yeah, I'll get the gems that are around. And some more oxygen, because you, you can never have enough oxygen, you see. Right. Now let's get the hell out of here, Johnny. Entering bonus 01. Keep your secrets, then. Oh, that's lovely. Oh. Oxygen is not depleting. That's great. Well, since I don't really have a time limit, maybe I should just grab everything. After all, I'm not gonna have another chance. There you go. Fun stuff. <laughs> if it only had a single jump, that would have been that would have been really brutal at that section. I, I did I legitimately didn't know that, that was a thing. It's very cool. It definitely encourages you to actually try, you know? That's a nice dancing little whatever that thing is. I don't know what that thing is, but it's a it's dancing whatever it is. It wants to have a party, clearly. Have fun, little man. Have fun. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here. See ya, dancing man. Entering stage 03. Of course, it's going to introduce... Ah, there are spikes. Eh, it wasn't gonna be that easy. Did you really think oxygen was going to be your only worry? Yes, eventually it was going to start getting a little tougher on you. That's how things work. I was prepared, though. Heck, those spikes are almost reminding me of Jill the Jungle, even though I know Jill the Jungle didn't exactly create wall ceiling spikes. They probably existed far before then. And I'm going to... Yeah, you get frozen. I, I assumed that was an instant death. I just couldn't avoid it. Astronaut on the rocks. Great. Achievement unlocked. Oh. I see. You just... You don't immediately get, get a game over. You just respawn back at the beginning. It's only when you run out of oxygen that you really die. Unless hitting the spikes also kills you. Which is a possibility. Alright, not too bad. Now that I'm getting the hang of things, it's a lot... It's getting a lot better. What do we have here? Oh, that's lovely. It's like it's just breaking apart all over the... Oh, okay. Get spiked. Yep, that... Nothing truly kills you except running out of oxygen. All that, uh, all everything else does is send you back to the beginning. So as long as you've got enough oxygen, you're good. Everything else is just a deterrent. Just a roadblock. Excellent. That's good to know. That, that's the only thing I really have to worry about. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying uh-oh as if I had anything to worry about. I'll be fine. 
Fun game, too. It's definitely very fair. <laughs> Even when I was getting destroyed. I mean, part of me was thinking, wow, that's brutal for the second level. But I never thought it was unfair. The movement is definitely very smooth. I like that. I know I probably would sound like a broken record if I said that enough times, but... I really value games that have more smooth motions. Uh-oh. I took too long. Oops. Yep. It's not gonna be that simple. They're gonna separate you from oxygen more and more. Whoops. Oh, uh, jeez. And how do I go downward? How do I go downward? Now that is a conundrum. What the? Oh, okay. So while it's loading? I don't know how to go down, though. That's great. Come on. Well, at least while it's loading, I can actually... I can actually do that ahead of time, which is nice. Jeez, I can't... Oh, okay. That just melts? Ah, crud. It's gonna be a while, isn't it? Oh, okay, you just jump across. You just jump on it. Fair enough. And it'll give way to your weight. That's pretty interesting. Now I just gotta make sure that I'm fueled up with enough oxygen to go back and forth. There we go. Everything's fine now. I just had to make sure. I just had to figure out what to do. No problem. Okay, now hurry up. Ah, okay, just right, you're supposed to jump on it actively. Excellent. Oh, okay. Yeah, astronaut on the rocks again. There we go. Everything's fine now. Just the fact it quit being stupid for two seconds. Yeah, get myself on the rocks. I don't mind. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, or at least doesn't make you any weaker. At least not in this game. It's just a slight delay. I was wondering where I was there for a second. Excellent. No problem. Fun game. Fun stuff. The spikes, the ice, the everything. Wonder if he's marooned on some kind of ice planet. Or maybe I'm reading too much into that. Because if there's a planet... Well, not a planet anymore, but if there was some kind of body in space, that would be extremely icy. You know what that would be? Pluto. But it's not a planet anymore. Because poor Pluto. Oh, well, the moon isn't a planet either, so... There you go. It's not like she has to worry about that. It's beside the point. Ooh, very nice. That's magical. Right, okay. Fair enough. No problem. Like I said, as long as you have enough oxygen, you can do whatever you want. Nothing can kill you. It's very generous in that regard. Although, maybe there will be things that actually can kill you besides oxygen deprivation later on. Who knows? Entering stage 07. Well, I mean, they can deprive you of oxygen for longer. That's uh, definitely a... That's definitely a hazard that can present itself easily. There you go. Excellent. Very cool. Ah, that oxygen supply seems to only come around every 10 seconds, which means if you don't grab it immediately, you're at a disadvantage. Ow. That was my bad. Yeah, it seems to keep appearing at the six second... Ah, dang, damn it. I was gonna say it keeps appearing at the six second mark. Uh-oh. Ah, jeez. Come on. Uh-oh, it's taking its sweet time now. Ah, jeez. Okay, I need to I need to jump on the button. 
That's what I need to do. Because those slopes make you go downward. That not much I need to learn. There we go. Making this way too hard on myself. Oh, jeez. It may not kill you, but it, it still sends you back to the beginning, which is still very much a deterrent, and it can be quite an obstacle. And if you think about it, what's the difference between dying and being sent back to the beginning? Because dying makes you get sent back to the beginning, all right. Okay, just enough. Excellent. That was a close one. Good thing I've got plenty of oxygen. Or at least I do now. As long as I have access to the other, the, the, the other tanks of oxygen, I'll be okay. Although, probably not. There we go. Just gotta get better about this. Stage 08. Oh, jeez. Oh, now you're getting trickier. I must give you props. Ooh, that was a close one. I honestly thought I was gonna lose in that attempt. And heck, I still may very well lose in this attempt. Because I don't know where I'm going. Okay, good, I have eight seconds of... Dead! Okay. When you respawn, you get ten seconds. That's good. Jeez. So, I don't have to worry about gaming gaming over because of that. Jeez. Gee whiz. I guess I gotta be patient. But being patient is how you die too, because then you run out of oxygen. Nope, I just had to do it like this. Quit being stupid about this. Dag gum it. You know what, screw it. I need to get everything into order. And I get the feeling it's not gonna happen. I forget it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna die on purpose. Well respawn on purpose. Because otherwise those platforms are gonna really bother me! Jeez Louise, man. I definitely won't have enough oxygen left if they're at the very peak. See, I barely had enough that time. So I'm basically better off just throwing myself in the water if I'm about to run out of oxygen. But there's nothing wrong with that. It's a legitimate strategy, I think. I mean, I mean, some people might consider it a legitimate strategy to just throw yourself over the ledge purposefully. Right? And at least, uh, you always restart the stage. You don't have to restart everything. So that's good. Not to mention your oxygen always refills itself to 10. It's a very generous situation. Oh, that was nice. Here, okay. Doesn't matter. Sometimes you're better off just throwing yourself over the sides. Like here. See? What's the worst that'll happen? I'll just end up back at the entrance, which is closer to my goal anyway, so... There you go. You kindly, jeez. Okay. There we go. See? Throwing yourself over the ledge can be strategic. Entering stage 10. Whoa, you're halfway there. Oh. There are 20 stages? Interesting. Well, I'm... I'm not gonna get through all of them. I'm 19 minutes in. Ah, crap. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna get through all of them. I'll be lucky if I get through this one. Incredible. There we go. Excellent. Good. I have two oxygen tanks that I could potentially use. Not to mention I can just reset my oxygen to 10 whenever I want. Some may see that as cheap, but I see it as strategy. You know, kinda. Jeez. I don't know where I'm supposed to even go here. If, I'm, if I can make the jump or not. Doesn't seem like I can. It's gotta be somewhere else. Nope, I can't go that way. That way is not legitimate. Oh, well there's a button right here that I need to press. 
That's probably it. Would make so much more sense, wouldn't it? Alrighty then. I think I have plenty of ox. Never mind. I was gonna say I have plenty of oxygen, but clearly that was not the case. It immediately. Sometimes resetting it to 10 is a bad thing. Sometimes you want to not get reset. Crap. Sometimes you actually have a surplus of oxygen that you don't want to go away. Fred. This is unfortunate. Dag nabbit. Okay, I'm gonna get it eventually. But eventually is a very long time. I love quoting that. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, in case you didn't know what that was a quote from. Dvorak, the Dvorak computer, his caretaker, its caretaker. Damn it. I need to quit jumping into that lake. It's not good for the, the old nerve endings. It freezes them solid. Although maybe that's preferable to being spiked to death. There we go. There. I knew I was going to get it eventually. I just gotta make sure that I don't run out of oxygen, because apparently being being spiked and freezing to death is preferable to running out of oxygen. A lesson for all of us, or something. Excellent. Okay, come on. Excellent. Now I have easy supply. I have easy oxygen supply. That I will immediately burn through, because I'm an idiot. Yes, that's another lesson. I will always do the stupidest thing possible. Fabulous. Now let's try this. Awesome. Very cool, man. Very not cool indeed for that. Okay, there we go. No problem. Now we've got it. There seems to be secrets too. Oh well. I really don't have the time for that. I barely have time for the main content. In more ways than one, actually, since oxygen is a constant concern. But not as constant of a concern as you would think. Considering. There we go. No problem. Jeez, come on. There we go. I don't think so, pal. Very nice. Come on. Thank you. Just gotta get everything timed up properly. Once I got everything figured out, it's not too bad. Very cool. Alright, let's go for it. As I probably mentioned about a million times before, I'm enjoying myself. Even when I'm getting killed, I'm enjoying myself. Very nice little 8-bit minigame. I can almost imagine something like this. Well, um, I'm speaking of systems that are before my time, but this looks like it might have been on the... Well, I don't know about Atari 2600, but maybe NES at the very least. Yeah, I could easily imagine that. The NES has done more complex things than this. I would know because I've... I played a few NES games. Come on, come on. Run out loud. I'm gonna run out of oxygen again. Ah, I should have just. I should have just destroyed myself. I would have been better off. Come on, please. There we go. Sometimes you're better off just uh, destroying yourself. Because at least it resets the timer and it gets you to the entrance. Which can often be to your advantage. Funnily enough. There you go. Excellent. There. I'll just go straight for the exit. It's... it's fine. Now I gotta figure out where I am. That's the... that's probably the first order of business right there. Figuring out where the hell I am. Ow. Jeez. Tough crowd. Excellent. Well, it doesn't matter if I freeze to death. Excellent. Yep, yep, I'm better off just destroying myself. 
Ironically, throwing yourself in, throwing yourself in the spikes is the best strategy when you're about to run out of oxygen. Although I've mentioned that a million times already, I don't know what else to say, really. Except that this is definitely arcade-worthy. You know, like the old arcade games where they would make them difficult on purpose because they didn't have that much content. And they wanted to bleed you dry for quarters. That was basically how it went. Although this probably feels a lot more forgiving than an arcade game. Well, most arcade games from back, back then. Damn it! I wasn't even paying attention to my oxygen. Yeah, we get it. You like beeping. Beep! Yes, we get it. You like beeping. Ah, crap. Better hurry the hell up. Or just freeze myself. I'll just get myself killed and... Again? When you're about to run out of oxygen, apparently what you need to do is just throw yourself into icy water and that'll make everything better. Things I learned from a video game. No problem. Now I just gotta go to the exit. Simple, right? Ow. Although not that simple. Wonder how you would even how you would even get to the bottom with that button down there. I'm sure there's a way. But is there a will? Eh, probably not. I just want to get out of here. Dick gimmick. I'm being impatient. But to be fair, in this game, you can't be overly patient. Because otherwise you'll die of oxygen deprivation. Damn it. This game ironically encourages you in some ways to be impatient because then, like I said, Okay, I'm just... I'm beating a dead horse at this point by repeating the same things over and over again, probably. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just had to time it right because I kept landing on the slope and then that was... That was not good for me. You know what I mean? Right. Just touching that waterfall gets you in trouble. Dang, gum it. There. Just had to do that risky maneuver. Screw it, just touch the spikes. Dead gummit. Dead gummit. Come on. Thank goodness. Okay, everything's good now. Until I run out of oxygen again. Which happens quite often. Go figure. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. There we go. Jeez. You gotta wait slowly for it to, de for it to be destroyed. Uh-oh. That one oxygen supply will have to be my salvation. Just keep suckling on it. At least until I, until I get killed by something else, and then my oxygen resets itself again. Jeez, come on. But as long as I don't run out of oxygen, I'll be fine. It matters not at all. Jeez, okay. Come on. Thank you. I'm proceeding slowly but surely. Stage 16. No problem. Okay, maybe a little bit of problem, but that's beside the point. Oh, okay. I misunderstood where that... Yeah, the oxygen tank is right there. My bad. Crap. Damn it. There we go. Come on. Oh, this one's gonna be tricky. Exceedingly tricky. Actually, no. If I do... If I just do it from a different angle... Everything will be fine. Until I hit the icy water, because I didn't even see that. Oops. Okay, this is definitely an area where you do not want to rush too much. No problem. Excellent. Everything's okay. Come on. Come on, oxygen, reappear. Thank you very much. Now just jump out of here. 
Fun stuff. Stage 17. Can't wait to see what else it has after me. I wonder if it's if I've seen everything that there is to be seen, or if there's gonna be even more hazards up ahead. Who's to say, really? Dig gimmick. You gotta be really careful with that, but I'm it's also encouraging me not to be careful for reasons that I've stated a million times already. I got 99 problems. But these are all, all of them. Dead gummit. Okay, come on. Okay, I guess I had to use the double jump there. Yeah, like that. Okay, cool. I'll do it eventually. And at least I keep my progress. Come on. Come on. Those platforms are going to be the death of me, seriously. Aforementioned oxygen problems. Just throw myself into spikes. It's always fun when I do that on purpose. Always convenient. Unfortunately, what's not so convenient is when I do it accidentally. Ah, jeez. Okay, this is it's tricky. Have I mentioned that? This is kind of tricky. Yes, it is. It's really, 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 really tricky. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Give me the good stuff. Ah, jeez. Guess I should have jumped there, huh? Oh, well. Daggummit! That time I shouldn't have jumped, apparently. Okay, come on. Gotta thread that needle, even though I'm going over my time limit here. But I kind of want to see where this is going, to be honest. Jeez, there we go. There, doesn't matter. I've already unlocked it. Damn it. It matters for that. Very much so. Okay, come on. Oh, jeez. Jeez. This is making me very tense. Extremely tense. The situation here is... palpable. Okay, here we go. But once you actually get through it, it's... It's a dopamine rush, to say the least. You know what, I think I'm just gonna keep going and see if I can actually make it to the exit or not. Okay, come on. Just stay on it. Everything will be fine. No problem. Come on. Come on. Everything will be fine. Until that happens. No, oh, okay. Ah, jeez. I threw myself into the icy water to, to reset my oxygen and it didn't work. I was already too low. Come on. Have a heart, why don't you? Level. Game. Come on. Ah, jeez. And when you, that moment when you phase completely through the platform, it's just so heartbreaking, isn't it? What the hell, man? Okay, there's a bit of bugginess. Nothing too bad, it's just, uh... It could be better, probably. Come on. That's also an omnipresent problem there. That bouncing thing, whatever it is. I'm gonna call it a snowflake. Because it looks like a snowflake. Let's be real, it does. Ah, damn it, I ran out of oxygen again. Paying attention to all this and your oxygen is not as easy as you may think, I swear to you. And I should probably end this video anyway. Because I'm definitely doing this longer than I should. But you know what, it's fine until it isn't. Jeez. Okay, there we go. I'll just keep destroy. I'll just have to keep destroying myself constantly to prevent my oxygen from ever running out. No problem. Damn it! If these platforms could quit phasing me through them, that would be lovely. Very lovely indeed. Ah, for God's sake! You know what? I'm never gonna get through this. I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to end this here. That's gonna have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like ice cubes. Sorry, I didn't quite make it, but. Gotta know where to draw the line somewhere, and uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it in time. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day.
If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.